Hi, I'm Corey Nicole for Where's the Buzz TV. How are you today? We're so happy to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. So tell me a little bit about your day. Like, what have you done? I've been talking to people all day. <laughs> uh, not really. I've just been, I woke up, you know, did the, started doing the press thing and uh, I'm talking to you, which is a pleasure. How do you feel about press events in general? Pardon? How do you feel about press events in general? Like, do you like talking to press? Like, are you like nervous about press? Or like, how do you feel? Like, as uh, a oh yeah, I, I enjoy it. I mean, it's definitely a sign that things are going well, uh, <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, you know, it, obviously it depends on the interview, but it, I never, I'm never like, oh, this, mm -hmm. you know, it, yeah, I feel like it's part of the job, and it's, um, and it, it can be very enjoyable. So, how did you prepare for your upcoming role in Archive eighty one? Uh, well, basically I, um, you know, they, they, uh, they helped me understand what, um, the, the kind of work that Dan Turner does. Um, I got some hands-on training for that, but, um, aside from like the technical aspects of that, I kind of just leaned into what was going on. <laughs> you know, it was, uh, it was a rough year. <laughs> it's been a rough year. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm ready for like this kind of work. I have it available to me. And um, yeah, the, the only thing to do is just to be diligent and uh, lean in with everything that's going on inside of me and, and then amplify it and share it. Uh, did, you, so was, did you receive any type of like specific guidance or just like like help like in preparing for the role, like any type of like, thing that stuck with you when you were um, shooting? Um, well, I feel like we all trusted um, that what well, one of the things that I joked with him about I was like, guys, we get a lot of this for free. You know, <laughs> um, we just gotten through the election. I mean, you know, the summer was what it was. Uh, just like just everything. So I, was, I felt very raw and very available to, uh, you know, go into the depths of this guy. And, um, you know, it was uh, and, you know, we, we had a series of great directors and, and Rebecca Sun and Chung show and it was always, always there on the set to answer the questions. But, um, you know, I, I felt like we, we all had a, a kind of trust that, you know, we were all there in this moment together and we could kind of lean in and that would take care of itself. Is that something that you would say what you loved most about this project was that you all like really trusted each other, like that element? Um, what do I love most about this project? Uh, I, I love the thing that I love most about this project is um, the beating heart at the center of the story. Mm -hmm. um, that that thing that that's what got that's what drew me to the project. That's what I find is paramount to any project that I do. Like, what is the point in this? What are we doing? How useful is this? Um, and I thought this was really a beautiful love story. Not. Again, I, I feel like I've said this all day because I have, mm -hmm. but not okay. necessarily the romantic sense, but mm -hmm. like a love story with family or, you know, friendship and, you know, just like sometimes there's somebody separated from uh, space and time that you have a kind of platonic or otherwise love for that that's kind of inexplicable, but you just like, I want to help this person. And I thought that was something really beautiful. And I, I felt we could, we could use a little more of that. Is there anything that you felt that that you learned about yourself more as an actor while like filming? Um, well, I, I'd never been on such a long shoot before. Mm -hmm. And I'd never been so isolated before. And I and I felt like I um, I felt like I proved to myself I was made of pretty stern stuff <laughs> as far as acting goes. I mean, obviously. There are people that are going through way more intense and difficult circumstances in the world, throughout the world, and in this country. Um, but as far as acting goes, I felt very capable, and I felt like I, oh, I, I really feel very strong and capable, of, you know, doing things that I put my mind to, even if they are, you know, very difficult. Would you say that you have a favorite genre? when I'm um, taking like a project or how do you feel about thrillers in general, like sociological thrillers? No, I don't have a particular genre that I'm in love with. I, I like a good story, um, a good story and good characters that, that the rest of it is. Is that what gets you for a project? Good, a good story, good characters. You're just so, like, yep, I want it. <laughs> that's all I need. That's all I need. I mean, like, you know, otherwise, and, and I do like being able to bounce around from different kinds of, uh, 
you know, circumstances and, and people and, and environments. So yeah, it, it really depends on who I'm working with and what we're trying to do and, you know, the beating heart of the story. What would you say was your most challenging like scene or like moment in this upcoming project? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, let me think. Yes, give us give us all the tea. Give us all the exclusives. Like, well, yes, it's that. hard to separate. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to separate. It, it is honestly, it's hard to separate it all as or isolate it rather into one. It was just, um, I think, more than anything, it was the uh, the relentlessness. <laughs> of, of it all and just like oh man okay here we go and you know the COVID of it all and just like the protocols that we you know we strictly abided by is just like you know it was kind of a monastic existence and especially with it being so heavy and having no feeling like there was not a lot of release in that it just kind of compounded and just felt really tense <laughs> towards the end like oof, yeah but um I guess what really emotionally got me was somewhere near the end. Um, there's, I, I don't know if I can go into spoiler territory here. I better not. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, there, there's some there's some scenes near the end. Um, you know, I get something that I wanted all all of my life as this character, and um, you know, I thought that was that was particularly emotionally. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Is there anything that fans can expect to see when that's upcoming? Or is there anything that you can give fans like a, like a little like insight as to what you're working on or where you, where you see yourself going next? Well, uh, I can't talk about what I'm working on currently, but um, I do have Jurassic World 3 coming out this summer, which I recently saw and I'm very excited about. It's that's great. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, everyone's great in it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that coming out for sure comes out this summer so how would you describe the character that you're playing was it is it complete opposite of like who you are like how did you feel that you were connected to the character almost instantly when you were like you know reading with the script and really trying to get everything down or how did you feel between like your personality and like the character that you're portraying uh you, and you're talking about archive 81 Dan yes. mm -hmm. um well yeah he, he's um a lot more reserved than i am for sure um He's, he's, um, and he's, and I'd say he's uh, much more sensitive than I am. Um, I think that reservation comes from, you know, needing, needing to protect himself because he's been hurt so deeply in his past. Um, yeah, so I, I, I find him to be a very strong yet also fragile um, person, but like as, as he goes on and he's, you know, discovering these things and finding more things out about his family and himself, and what he's actually capable of, I think he finds a kind of strength in that. For any young actors, any fans that will see you star in this upcoming project on Netflix, um, what would you like say to them? What advice would you give to them if they're, you know, like chasing that same opportunity that you received? Um, don't cut any corners and, you know, really just kind of find a way to arm yourself with a kind of a, uh, um, Eternal barom in internal barometer that will help you um, know for yourself um, what's what's good for you and what's not. Whether it's like on set or off set or like how you're preparing and what you're doing with your career for yourself. Like you know, having that kind of self sufficiency, I think, is is very important and paramount to from what I've seen with older actors um, that that have had the longevity that I admire. Do you interact with fans often on social media or like what would be the best way for them to like contact you or ask you any questions or anything like that? Um, I'm, I'm pretty friendly with people out in the street. I don't do the social media thing, but I can't. <laughs> That's not so definitely give us Give us your, your stance on social media. Why don't you really like do the social media? Oh, I, I don't, I mean, I feel like I share a lot on, um, on camera. And um, the rest is for me. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly. Oh, perfect. Like, I understand. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, I, I just don't see the utility in it. Um, 
like I'm, I'm happy to go on an interview, do an interview. It's just the social media thing. I think there are some people that do it very well and have like an affinity for it. I have friends that are very good at like, you know, posting fun things and also useful things, you know, things that with great causes. I am not an internet person. I'm not very good with computers. I'm kind of a Luddite. I'm kind of like an old man. So it's like, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, imagine when, like, this is going to be, like, top 10. Like, you know, on Netflix, for sure. This, like, this movie's going to be, like, top 10. So, so many people are going to be tweeting. It just is probably going to be hashtags oh. with everywhere. <laughs> and I'll be, like, none the wiser. <laughs> just riding my bike. <laughs> That's so funny. Where is the bus? Oh, yeah. Where is the bus? You said we used to be the same. Oh, Where is the bus? <laughs> 